or anything funny. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. And please follow on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. Juicy content. It's so juicy. There's a hummingbird outside. You know what? They don't hum. I've listened very closely to their mouths. No sounds coming out. And thank you for supporting on Patreon and follow us on official Twitter account. Uh, and today we are reacting to something different. What is that, a trailer for a movie? It's called Something Different? Yes. Uh, it is called... Yeah, just do it for me. Uh, your mom. Cool. Oh, that one. Kalori Piatu. The first martial art. So we're reacting to... Uh, Kalori Piatu. It's a type of martial arts, I believe it's... Kalori Piatu. One of the oldest martial art. Really? In the world, which makes sense, it's India. Yeah. Um, but it's a which it's, we love us that martial arts so stuffs little edu- legit seriously little educational yeah uh, video uh, about big, five minutes and goes through uh, their this type of martial arts loved Bruce Lee growing up big big fan of the UFC since it's in, well not since its inception since it became a legit fighting sport uh, so yeah I'm looking forward to this so this is this is just a video about this martial art this type of martial art sweet here we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, I'm going to love this. Kalati Payet, as we know, is the oldest martial art of the world. Makes sense. Even though it is a a discipline, Kalati Payet essentially is a form of warfare. S.R.D. Prasad, that is Sri Raj Devi Prasad. So I am presently uh, the guru of uh, Sri Bharat Kaladi. Sri Bharat Kaladi was uh, founded by my father, the late uh, Chakrati Sridhar Nair, in 1948. Kaladi Payatri, in short, is the defensive art of Kerala. It is Kerala's own martial tradition. Uh, it uh, traveled abroad and influenced uh, even other martial art forms and uh, emerged as new martial art forms elsewhere. That is how karate, kung fu and the original form jujutsu spread in China and uh, Far East. Dang. Talking about the, the whole structure of Kalari Payet, it is uh, done inside a Kalari. Kalari is also specially made. Uh, the top soil is removed to a depth of maybe three to four feet. And in one corner, there will be a presiding deity uh, we call Putara. And uh, there is another place known as Guruttara, uh, which is uh, dedicated to the preceptors of Kalaripayat. The, the practice of Kalaripayat is also divided into four parts. First is the Meipayat in Malayalam. Meipayat means body conditioning exercises. So the maximum or exaggerated use of all the joints and muscles are involved really in this body movement. They are choreographed to form a series of exercises. And then comes the coal tire pipe, the section, wooden weapons. There are many wooden weapons. I can tell you weapons, how happy I am chains, to see the girl. Soft staff, bend ones, wet a horn-like weapon. When coming to coal tire, there is this white tire or the oral commands. First, uh, starting with the long staff, Kattagari, there are 10 series in that, each set to well-balanced white tire or oral commands. The third part is known as Angatari Payet which is all about the sharp weapons. Sharp so weapons are like a sword and shield, spear, yeah, a dagger, swords. and flexible sword, Urumi. Yeah. And it is said that Urumi was once upon a time worn around the waist of a person. So the length is that much. And one will carry it without being noticed that by others. So, cool. so in an emergency situation, he will take off that Urumi and uh, fight with that. Then fourth, the last part comes uh, as a little guy. That is the bare-handed defense center attack. 
So after learning that and after acquiring the necessary skill and the reflexes for that, he or she should be able to defend any attack from any quarters with any kind of weapons. There is a therapeutic science also attached to the Kaladi. That is a medicine. The bone setting is there, the massages are there. And uh, learn and practice and uh, learn more things and practice. So it is a uh, never-ending process. By the breakup of uh, or the end of Perumal rule, that is around uh, maybe uh, seventh and ninth centuries, there emerged a lot of principalities, small, small kingdoms. And it was at that time they wanted to keep private armies. So the, the, the warriors trained in the respective galleries became the, uh, the soldiers of uh, the respective principalities. Kalajipayat uh, practitioners, experts, as a form of justice, you know, yes. went as hired mercenaries also. And uh, Kalajipayat had its golden era at that time. So ever after that, Kalajipayat had a decadence during the Portuguese rule and uh, thereafter during the British rule. Just before 1804, there was a great revolt by the great uh, ruler of Parashi. And it was an armed revolt. And so Kalajipayat, the practice of Kalajipayat was banned by the Britishers. And those who were uh, hoarding uh, weapons of Kalajipayat and who were found practicing weaponry, uh, they, were, uh, they were sent to jail. When we gained independence, there was none to, to revive Kalajipayat at that time. And as a sport activity also, for wrestling there is a bout. No, no one is skilled. Professional boxing also, no one is skilled. The skills in Kalajipayat has not been developed or metamorphosed or stylized to form such quality sport items. Right. But uh, there is a small revival happening now. Uh, to my knowledge, there are more than 100 colleges where daily practice is going on. Because even though it is uh, not a warfare activity now, it is a very good fitness activity and a discipline at large. Well, that's it. Love stuff like cool. this. I do Love too. Stuff like this. That could have gone on for an hour. There's right? a great show. I don't know if he's done a second season. If he has, I need to pay attention and see it. Uh, and I'm forgetting his name. He's the actor. You've seen him in many things. He's a stuntman. He was uh, in Warrior. He was the coach. Mm -hmm. um, and he was also in Avengers. Uh, you recognize his face immediately if you saw him. And he has a show called Fight World. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm surprised he hasn't done that, and I'm sure he will, where he goes to all different parts of the world and investigates and dives into, like he went to Mexico for boxing and he went to Israel for Krav Maga and he goes to other places and some places like in Africa where the only fight style is in this country. Fantastic show, reminded me of this clip. I've never heard of this form of martial art. Apparently um, it's the original, yeah, which would, would make sense Would make sense, does not surprise me. Uh, I'm sure Bruce Lee probably talked about it when he said that the precursors to all of the ones from uh, China and then and Japan of, of Kung Fu and Jiu Jitsu and then his form of martial art the uh, he, That this would have a precursor to that and like Krav I like the fact that this thing was never designed like most martial arts, but the you know Krav is Designed purely for one purpose. It's not for sport and it's not for fitness and Krav Maga is purely for one purpose and it's to be able to defend and fight in real life situations. That's what it's for. Uh, this was obviously for warfare tactics and it has evolved. I think it's, it's very cool. Those, those, uh, the things that they were doing were choreographed, but they were, I mean, why haven't we seen stunt work in films? That, well, we've seen been it, talking about it. Some stuff in some of the films we've seen. Probably have seen parts of it. We yeah. didn't even realize uh, it. The, the sword, sword things. Yeah, well, I remember we were laughing first, like, well, that was so bad, their sword's bending, and all the stupid papers are like, guys, it's an ancient weapon. It's supposed <laughs> to bend. Yeah. And it's, it's not so a flimsy prop sword. It's so cool that they wore it around their waist, and so it's like a practical, and then it's like, just kidding, flap! <laughs> that thing does some damage. Ooh, that would hurt. If it's like uber sharp on each other. Oh, man, yeah. That would double air you to shreds. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so cool. I just love also, martial arts. how fluid they were. Yeah. It's, that's why I was like, it looks like Rithik took this course yeah. because of how fluid he is. Very fluid form. Maybe, maybe Rithik... Uh, Extremely fluid form of martial art. Took, uh, took whatever the, the... I don't know I don't know what it's called. I can't pronounce that. I'm <laughs> um, it being an ancient 
respected art form. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I would, I mean, any more videos like this, because I'm sure there's other regions of India that have other forms of martial arts that may not be the quote unquote first, mm -hmm. but are completely different forms that we've never heard of. Yeah, and like I said, we love educational videos like this that teach us stuff that we don't know about. Absolutely. Uh, that's some of our favorites on this channel, obviously, because um, after a while you get, you get down from the, the big blockbuster films and then, yeah. so like a lot of stuff like this, is, is great. Yep. I love this kind of stuff. It usually doesn't get copyrighted either, so that's great. Um, but I'm just really shocked. I mean, I know the same thing with when I watch Fight World, because we've been paying attention to mixed martial arts for decades and and have not heard about that form. I'm just so tickled to learn about a new form of martial art. Um, We're reading some of the comments on the video. Uh, so there's one that says 95% of this is lost in time. Only 5% is known by people today. Is that this or something else? But this is our culture. Uh, huh. Very, very interesting. Cool. Well, let us know in the comments. Uh, I'm sure because every single time we do a video, uh, we always get tons of comments, but then also like Instagram messages or yeah. people just send you like paragraphs and then articles. Like, yeah, you know, here's, here's what I really appreciate that. all that. Very much. Um, so thank you so much.